Previously on Survivor Yukon. After Bijan turned on his ally Adge, many people began to become wary on who they could trust in the game. If it's between Bijan and someone else, like he's gonna help me out and help out Adge out. Once again, the Tarasi tribe failed at the immunity challenge, and all eyes were on Kiwan to be the next person voted out due to his affiliation with the Moynihan tribe. Knowing his back was against the wall, Kiwan reached out to Kira and Robbie for safety. Kira ended up giving her fake idol to Kiwan, but the only person who really knew that it was fake was Robbie. At tribal council, even after showing the immunity idol to his tribe, Kiwan decided not to play it and was instead blindsided and unanimously voted out of the game. With the impending merge, nobody is safe. Ten are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Such a bad decision. <laughs> I told Kiwan to use it if he had to, but he didn't use it. At the actual tribal council, he like pulls out the idol, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like trying to think like compared to mine, like does it look real? And it looks kind of real. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I don't know if you guys can use the same beads, but like, yeah, it looked real. I'm not gonna lie. Like he had me a little bit shook. When Keelan pulled out his fake idol, I was pretty sure it was fake. He said he was probably going to play it, and I told him to play it, actually, because I knew Keelan trusted me, so if I told him to play the fake idol, then he would relay to all of his old tri-mates that I told him to play the idol, so then if we end up merging, I essentially have the trust of my alliance on this tribe, and then the people on the other side will trust me too, so it'll give me a bunch more options. We were wondering why he would pull it out before you asked to see the idol. He was just trying to pull a stunt. I think it was fake, it might be real, and he might have gone home with a real idol, but I think if it, he knew he was on the, he knew it was going to be 4v1, so he probably would have played it. But I was really impressed because our, our group sucked together, and even though like he was like trying to flex an idol on us, like, we all still voted him. And that's why I laughed, because, like, he really almost had us, like... He wants two votes, he wants one vote, Matt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He had me going up there, like, thinking, like, maybe I should change my vote. Like, I wrote that shit down really quick, because I was like, I'm, I will change my mind if I don't write his name down right now. So, yeah, it was, it was maybe a little risky, but I was pretty confident no one would switch on me, and we all knew it was fake. The six person vote out Survivor Yukon, he wants. Sorry, I said that's enough for tonight. You're wearing your bandana. You look like my idol, I guess. Let's get it! So we showed up to the next challenge. Um, me and Robbie were just sitting there waiting to see who would walk in because um, we didn't know who got voted out until we were at the challenge. Um, I think Maddie and Carolina were there first. I was hoping Bijan maybe wouldn't be there afterwards or Alex, but then they both walked in. Um, <laughs> We didn't see Kiwan, 
Uh, but I was still kind of holding out hope because Bijan wasn't wearing a buff. So I was like trying to possibly get into my head that like, oh, q one's still here. They're just like trying to pull it over on us. And now we're down an idol and an ally, so that was great. <laughs> that was a great plan. Yeah, I don't know if it was um, Kiwan not being a very good actor or just those other four guys being really ballsy players, but if it was me I would have, and somebody pulled out an idol like that, I'd be very nervous to vote for that person just because I know it could end up me going home. I heard from multiple people actually the day of the next uh, challenge that Kiwan was given an idol to use by Kira, but then he didn't use it, and then the idol went to waste. Confusion all around. I'm assuming it was a fake idol that Kiwan uses. So Kiwan went home with Kira's fake idol, which might seem like bad on the forefront, but I think it's more of a bittersweet sort of thing because although Kiwan is out of the game and um, we can't work with him after the merge. That also means that Kira's fake idol is out of the game, which I was like really worried about because although it like has benefited me thus far in that nobody sus like Kira didn't suspect me of having the idol, it was something that could have come back to bite me in the ass later if Kira then tried to play it, found out it was fake, and then who who would she suspect to plant that other than me? Hey, I was so relieved when Q1 got voted out. Um, I think getting rid of anyone else would have been detrimental to any non-former Red player, just as a whole. They collectively are a really strong group, a really strong alliance. So I think getting rid of Q1 is the best for a lot of people. Yeah, when I heard Q1 got voted out, I wasn't surprised so much, but I was still upset because he was one of the original people. Um, I was hoping to have him there for the rest, you know, to be sort of an inside agent in that other team. But it was definitely a step in the wrong direction. All right, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, Final Ten. Uh, Kiwan voted out at Toronto Tribal Council tonight. So, um, unfortunately, Matt and Barrett aren't able to make it tonight. Matt might show up, but he probably won't. So, but we're just going to continue with the challenge anyway, because if we're still able to do it. So, we're at final 10 in this game. It's been a while, it's been a long time coming. I'm just going to get to the point. You guys, congratulations, you made the merch. Yeah. Uh, I'm relieved. <laughs> I made the merch. I really didn't think I was going to get to this point. Like, it's definitely like an offset from like my original goal being not to be the first person eliminated. So getting to the merge is a relief. Um, I don't necessarily think I'm out of the hot seat yet, but I think there's a chance that I'll be able to, be able to make it a couple more rounds if I play my cards right. I got a color for you guys. We got a little mint. <laughs> So if you guys want to pass it down, take one. We made the merge, which was my uh, goal, primary goal coming into the, the game, because I know that's where the action really starts happening. People um, start strategizing, the challenges get interesting, and then the jury, because even if you get voted out at this point, you still get to be part of it for the rest of the semester, just because you're hopefully at least earning a place on the jury. Well, I was really happy we merged, because I did not want to have to go to another tribal council with just those three but I'm really happy we merged when I started playing the game like my goal was just like just make the merge and just make the jury like you don't have to win I'm trying to tell myself that because I'm really competitive and like, I don't want to like, get like too into it to the point where like people start like targeting me so I, th I feel like people were like taking out like really strong players early like Shane, Edge, like even Sawyer would have been like a really strong player but they're all taken out early so I was trying to like stay mellow all right, um, so for the next challenge, this is what it's going to be. This challenge is called Getting Dicey. So the way it's going to work, you each have a popsicle stick. It's labeled, there's an end that says dice and an end that says bite. And there's a little line on each side. So what you're going to do is you're going to bite down on it. Your lip can't go past the line on it. You're going to bite down. And at intervals of like two minutes, I'm going to say you got to put another dice on it. You're going to start with one. You're gonna go to two, 
and it's gonna keep going. So <laughs> basically, there'll be a transition period where I'll, where I'll count you guys in. You'll each have a pile of dice in front of you. So I'll say, all right, we have a transition period. We're gonna add one more die. And I'm gonna count from backwards from 15. So if you don't have the you don't have the die on the end of your stick by the end of the countdown, you will be out. So yeah, when we emerged, I was super happy because it gives me a lot more options and also in the challenges, I, I don't have to feel like I'm letting anyone down if I do bad, so it's all on me now. So, um, there will be two prizes for tonight's challenge. So, second place will get uh, a secret advantage. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is before the challenge, but you will be get a secret advantage that only you will know. First place, it's going to be a little different tonight. So, normally we'd have a little individual immunity at the start of the merge, but tonight we're going to have something different. So what we have here is an immunity idol. It's just an immunity idol. So what happens is, first place for this challenge is going to get an immunity idol. It works the same as a regular immunity idol. Um, you can play it uh, after the votes are cast, but before the votes are read. The way it's going to work is this immunity idol, you can't pass it to anyone in the game, so it's only for you. You can't play it on anyone else, so it's only for you. So basically, you can use it kind of as a regular regular immunity, and just use it at this next tribal, and then you're immune. Or you can hold it off like an immunity idol, try and risk it a little. The thing is, everyone in the game will know you have it. You can't give it to anyone and you can't play on anyone, it's only good for you. So it's kind of half and half between the immunity idol and the regular immunity. All right, so we're gonna put our first transition, we're gonna put one die on the popsicle stick. So that's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. All right, everyone's good. Obviously, a bit of an easy transition there to start, but it will ramp up quick. Bijan already, Bijan loses one. Bijan, not necessarily his challenge. Yeah, you can just sit there. All right, everyone else just chilling right now. Not much movement from anyone else. Seconds in, it's gonna be a long two minutes. Alright, we have about 30 seconds left until our next transition period. Hope loses it. Hope out of, out of this challenge at one die. Alright, we're in our transition period. I'd like you guys to all add another die. We're at 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone out of this transition period, everyone successfully got their second die on the popsicle stick. transition period. We have 15 seconds to add another die. Carolina loses it. Carolina out of this challenge. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands off. Everyone else has made this section of the challenge. Carolina was not able to make the transition. Robbie's out. Robbie loses his dice. Robbie out of this challenge. We're down to four. All right, we are in our next transition phase. We have 15 seconds. Alex loses it. Alex out of this challenge. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, 
two, one. All right, so Alex couldn't make this round's transition. We have Maddie, Kira, and Heidi left for the immunity idol and the secret advantage. All right, we are at set transition. We have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Heidi loses it. Heidi out of this challenge. We're down to Kira and Maddie. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're at Kira and Maddie, both with seven dice. Kira loses it. Maddie with first place. Kira with second place. Congratulations, guys. I think winning the challenge, it was it was a really good feeling to win, obviously. Um, I think it obviously puts a target on my back because I ended up winning the first individual mini challenge. Again, it can use just as an idol or you can use it right next trial, but you can use it whenever you want. So a little different than immunity, but it can only be used by you and on you. Um, I wasn't so upset about first place. I've said it before, and I'll say it a million other times, I hate the idols. I want nothing to do with them. Um, I really wanted the second place prize, though. If I made it to second, I would have dropped immediately, because I wanted to know what second was. Uh, Kira, congratulations. You win a secret advantage. I'll be giving that to you uh, after all summer. But... Hey, congratulations. You have discovered a tribal council skip. Um, the Tribal Council skip will allow you to get out of one Tribal Council vote during the course of the game. Once played, you will not vote during this particular Tribal Council, but also cannot be voted out. Anything else? That's it for this week, guys. Um, I'll see you at the next Tribal. Um, when I first started the game, I think I was really worried I'd be out early, maybe. Just because I, I thought people might view me as a threat. So I kind of adapted and tried to fly under the radar a bit, but still do well in challenges. and. So getting to the merge was like a huge goal of mine. So I was really happy to just get to that moment and kind of like reflect, like with respect to everyone who's been voted out so far, it just kind of feels good to be like, I outlasted them in this game, which I think is awesome. Um, the merge is when it's most interesting, but I'm also a little worried because our Kemba tribe was kind of dominating every challenge we were in. Like besides one that we threw, we literally, it almost wasn't even close. So having that safety net taken away is a little scary now. Also that challenge I hated because I was ready to win and then I was staring at the ceiling trying to count the tiles because then I would focus on that and I think I heard a noise and I tilted my head to the left and then I just lost like right off the bat and that made me upset. Um, also when Bichon gets out right off the bat and he starts laughing I was fearing for my life that I would start laughing also and then he was <laughs> That was a struggle as well. I knew I was going to be good. Right when I like was like, trying to practice, like my mouth started shaking. I'm like, forget it. Yeah, yeah, before the challenge started, when we heard that it was like a little bit of a twist where the winner would get the immunity idol instead of the immunity necklace, that kind of threw me off. And I immediately was like thinking, I don't even really want to win this challenge because people already think I have an immunity idol, and I know that the target my back would get even bigger if I had a second one. But yeah, I'm glad Kira was able to get that advantage because that means. She was able to film me and on what it was, so I wasn't kept in the dark. This is good, but like, I don't know what to really do with it. I'm excited to have won this, but I also feel that now I have a target on my head. It's the second time Kira has gotten some sort of advantage or something, and I think it just makes her appear more sneaky. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm a target, especially because I know everyone hates Robbie. And they know I'm allied with Robbie. I just feel like she, Kira came into this game popular. Uh, I feel like she did, she has played a really good game so far. So Kira, I think, is more neutral, like more friendly, more outgoing, and I really think people would be willing to vote for her. What I've heard, I don't know why. I, I like Robbie, but I don't know why they hate him. But um, he's definitely a threat, is the thing. Like, he definitely seems, at least, I'm sure from an outside perspective, to be the one, like, pulling all, like, calling all the shots which I'm kind of using to my advantage, you know, he's kind of like a shield for me. Um, but they definitely see him as a threat and I know people want to get him out. I want to stick with them now, but once we get down to like 
five or six people. Like, I really got to start like playing this game all out. Um, and Maddie actually won the immunity idol coming in first place. And obviously, that's not ideal because that's one of my targets in the game. Some people I want to get out just because I know she's coming for me and I know she's a challenge threat as evidenced by her winning the first immunity challenge. Our goal for this upcoming vote is definitely to try to get Maddie or um, Caroline out. Um, just because they seem to have a strong alliance, they they seem to be building up a good um, opposition to our group, and like as early as we can get into that to, to stick a nail in their coffin. That's what, that's what we're trying to do. I think I can definitely trust um, Kira, Barrett, Hope, and um, probably Matt as well. Um, but we talked like initially about who we might want to target. There was a lot of talk about Maddie because she's probably the biggest threat on the other, like opposition, like the former Tarasi tribe. Um, but it definitely would be a big risk to try to vote for her while we know she has that idol. But I think most people are leaning towards voting uh, Carolina because she and Maddie are a very close like alliance. And if we can't vote out Maddie with like 100% certainty, I think the next best thing would be to vote for Car uh, Carolina because although she might not be as big of a challenge threat, we know that she and Maddie kind of orchestrated the votes for Adj and for Kiwan. Right now, just because I know, like, kind of, people think of me as a threat, I'd like to hold on to the idol for what I can. Um, but if I have to use it, if I think I could be going home, obviously I'll use it to stay in the game for as long as I can. Right now, I know me, Carolina, Alex, and Dijon, are all still good as an alliance. And then, now that Heidi is in the merge with us, she was on my original green tribe, and I know she was on the outs of her tribe, so immediately after, or er, she'll probably want to work with us. I have another sheep, <laughs> but I'm currently working with all the people from the other tribe. Yeah, I'm working with all the proxy um, tribe members, so Alex, Bijan, Carolina, Maddie, like, that's my team right now. Um, at this first tribal, if we could pull it off, it would be great to knock Red down a member. So hopefully we'll be able to get a group together and kind of figure something out to make the numbers more even so that it doesn't end up being that Red Tribe stays together as their reality of making it all the way to the end and then picking all of us out on their way. I think that People think that me and Bijan maybe aren't playing that hard, but really we like have this alliance, this like sub alliance that no one knows about. Well, first I told Alex that maybe he should throw. Him. I showed Alex my idol the way, and I solidified a final two with him. And I told him maybe you should throw me under the bus, Karate, trying to get like votes on me. I could play my idol. I'm not willing to play my idol on like, anybody else. And we just talked about how, like, yeah, we're in the middle. We can choose to go either way. Let's just see what both sides have to say. Um, and also, another big thing was that Bijan showed me that he had an idol, which is crazy. I wouldn't have expected that. He seriously had me convinced that Adj had it when she got voted out. So, yeah, the fact that he showed me that definitely uh, solidified my trust even more. We talked uh, after the challenge the next day. Me, well, Carolina, Heidi, Maddie, and Alex met up. Uh, they FaceTimed me in later and like filled me in. So basically, Heidi goes, the plan is to vote uh, Barrett or Matt. Like, I think the votes split pretty evenly. Um, Barrett and Matt, I think it's gonna be me and the um, others versus the Reds and Matt. Um, which is 5v5. I, I think we all want Robbie gone still, like without a doubt, but we think he and Kira have the idol. We were think uh, obviously we want to get Robbie out eventually, um, but we felt like that was too big of a, like, he, we could, he could have seen that coming, he could have played an idol or something. Um, so we really wanted Matt out second, um, or Barrett. So we are just, we're deciding between Barrett and Matt. Um, Getting rid of Matt or Barrett um, would mean their voting block has less people. Like Kira and Robbie are the two biggest people in the game right now. Like we need to take them out, but let's waste a vote on that. I mean, honestly, I would be fine with voting on Matt. If it means that it's a 5-4, like our side has the numbers, I'm fine with that. I think our goal is to 
um, break up that voting block so it can be a, like, I guess so it can be a game again. I mean, I feel like the big voting blocks are really frustrating. Like we have to focus on them now. But I think if we get rid of a couple of reds or Matt, um, it can finally turn into like, okay, like I'm thinking strategically, like who's my biggest competition moving forward? Like, like it actually being a 1v1 and not like team versus team, despite the fact that we're merged. She specifically said to us, I want to just get them down to like one less than us just so it opens up the game so like we all have a chance to play just so we're not being like steamrolled by one side which is exactly what I want to do I want to have a big side and just take out the other side I don't want to mix around and like like clearly she's not trustworthy but whatever uh, right now it seems like they want us to or right now we talk about it and we're thinking about voting for Matt we're thinking about voting for Matt because he's a challenge threat there's no way he has an idol, and also we don't think Robbie would ever play his idol on Matt. And everyone thinks Robbie has an idol, so... Heidi, hopefully... I, me and Hope are going to try to pull her in, and try to hopefully vote out Carolina. I don't know what she's thinking yet, because we haven't met up with her. But we're going to try to pull Heidi in to try to get them out. So, <laughs> now here, let me get your face in here. So yeah, after you can see us. having dinner together, we kind of planned out each person's name, who we think we're going for. We're thinking of, for now, having some sort of alliance. Um, yeah. we're, gonna we're gonna try to keep this a low-key alliance right now. Um, I feel like no one's gonna see this coming, like, if we all stick together. Um, <laughs> I think people might see it coming, but we no, can no. try. We can no, try. No, I, I really <laughs> don't like Line it. signed to the I, center. Line time. This is gonna be the final three. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh has to be a stronger laugh. <laughs> the one Wednesday night, um, Kira and Heidi and I all had dinner together, and so we are really excited to kind of. I mean, I don't know how much I trust Kira, but I think Heidi we could definitely trust right now. So we're thinking Carolina is Maddie's kind of second in command. I love here. how the beat so, or... <laughs> <it is. laughs> so if we go for her, so it's kind of her. Maddie or might Alex. use her idol and then we can just start mm -hmm. actually working without having to worry about idols coming to play. Yeah. I think things are looking good but I'm just nervous for myself because I might be a target. Like this is a stressful situation. I don't know what's happening anymore. But I actually also have another possible opportunity uh, because Alex reached out to me and we have uh, met and talked about uh, a little bit of survivor strategy and he knows that on the old green tribe um had we not had the tribe swap he would have been the next target on their tribe for to be voted out so he doesn't feel safe voting with maddie and he knows heidi's likely to come back and join maddie after the merge so he's worried that he would be a target again soon um if he continue to vote with them for the ad vote i'm trying he's not told ads like oh he wants set it up and i was like there's no way <laughs> yeah, there's no way he wants to set it up as like the new cover to the tribe. Like he's the only one to him. Um, so I knew like, and then additionally, Bijan was in the alliance with the Ash before the tribe swap. Really? I don't think Bijan is like one that can be trusted necessarily. But he won made me think that you were more trustworthy. That was because he tried to tell him like play the idol. Yeah, I mean like it probably seemed super suspicious. It was last minute, but that's literally when I like found yeah. out. He wasn't sure if it was like a. You threaten him, like, I'm gonna play that idol, like, yeah, just so he, just so he, like, gets, gets rid of the idol, but... He seems very willing to work with me because he, um, doesn't trust the people he's working with initially, and he knows, like, we've talked a little bit at the challenges, he knows I'm a big Survivor fan, and, uh, I think I've, I was able to, like, earn his trust today because I told him a piece of information that I haven't told anybody yet in this game, which is that I have the actual immunity idol. Can you, like, promise me that I can trust you as... Somebody to work with in this game for now? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Because there's something I haven't told people that I think I'm going to tell you just because I'd rather somebody know nobody. And I do actually have that first title. Uh, yeah. So I think uh, I think people on our old tribe kind of think that, but yeah. no one knows for sure. Yeah, I was I see I didn't have the idol and then the second clue came out, I didn't find out the first clue, the second clue came out and I found it. Do you want to come over to my apartment on Wednesday for uh, tomorrow? We will, like the people from my tribe sometimes get together and all Survivor. If you want to come, you can join us. Yeah, sure. So you can get to know some of the people that you could like potentially. 
Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Like, to work with. So I think I've seen it happen in Survivor before, and I think if there's a 50-50 chance where um, you could go either way and kind of be a, like a split vote, if it was me, I'd want to play on the side with the immunity idol. So I told him that, and I told him kind of our plan and who I think I can trust. And I think between the fact that we already have five solid, and we could also have a additional person if Bijan chose to join us, that like he's a smart guy who's watched a lot of Survivor, I think he's going to want to go to the safer side now because he's been, at least in his eyes, on the chopping block the entire game. Yeah, so, and then I ended up meeting up with Robbie, and yeah, Robbie, um, so yeah, Robbie wants Maddie or Caroline out. He prefers Maddie, but the fact that Maddie won <clears throat> this immunity idol is making him sketchy, so uh, he wants us to go for Caroline. And then Alex met with Robbie the next day. Robbie told Alex that he thinks that he has everybody except Heidi, Maddie, and Caroline. And this is where like my genius comes into play, obviously. So Robbie thinks he has everybody but Carolina, Maddie, and Heidi, right? So if he thinks he has seven, he said that he wants Maddie out, but because of her idol, he might have to go for Carolina. My idea is I'm gonna meet with him today, I'm meeting with him and Matt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw Maddie and Caroline under the bus, say that the whole adage thing, Matt doesn't think that I really wanted the adage thing to happen, I kind of was just forced to it. I'm gonna blame them for that. I'm gonna try to get them to do a split vote. Four for Maddie, three for Carolina, is what I'm gonna to propose to him. But in actuality, me, Carolina, Maddie, Heidi, me, Carolina, Maddie, Heidi, and Alex will all vote for Robbie. Robbie came up with an idea to have us split the votes between Maddie and Carolina just in case Maddie plays an idol. Um, then we could at least get Carolina out. And I think we'd have the numbers to get it done. He will not see it coming, so he has no need to play the idol. So the whole 4-3 thing is just because 4 to Maddie, and if she plays the idol, there would still be 3 votes for Carolina. So like worst case scenario, it ties between Carolina and somebody else, and we would all agree to vote out Carolina. Um, this plan, if it works, will be fucking huge. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I let's, let's split, I think, would be the best thing, but if it's risky, then we should. Just because I don't know if I'm going to choose with Heidi. I hope Heidi seems oh. close since, like, the tribe swap. I don't know. Even if, okay, so even <laughs> if Heidi me. doesn't vote with us, we'll, we'll still have the numbers. Definitely, yeah. To, to get Carolina out, yeah. I might want to use a skip at the next tribal council, um, depending on how conversations go with other people. I think there's two ways it could go. I think, although Bijan is, I don't trust him as far as I can throw him because he already flipped on Adj. I think he's the type of player who kind of just goes wherever the majority goes as long as he's safe, kind of like maybe a Sandra type player. Just tries to keep herself in anybody but him. Um, so I don't really trust him in it, like at this point, but I think he might be somebody who we can work with for the next couple votes because I know he's close with Matt, and I think he and Matt would like potentially choose to vote with us. Well, I'm telling you, if my plan works, I am a genius. And if my plan works, people are gonna know it's me, so they're gonna come for me, but I don't even care because that's, that's good thinking right there. No, it has to be him. The only way that it's not him is if Heidi convinces us to do Kira instead, which Kira's a good player, but like Robbie's a top dog, <laughs> you know, aim for the king, as I think. Like right now he's the king and I'm I'm gonna just run him. I will. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you hear that? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's sick! <laughs> Alright, welcome everyone. Welcome to your first merge tribal. We have the Colgate tribe here, as we just decided. So, you guys merged this week. Congratulations. You guys have all made the merge individual portion of the game. So, a lot of things change. We're, we've gone from tribes for so long, now this becomes an individual game. So Maddie, what aspects of this game are a lot different now that we've hit the merge? I think now that it's the merge, it's a very individual game. So we've kind of got to decide what, like, what's best for yourself. So if you're more of a Alright, Maddie, I've 
have another question for you. <laughs> uh, we had a tough fought immunity challenge this week, and you were able to pull through and get the first place win. So what that got you was an immunity idol that only you can use, and everyone knows you have it. And it's good till final six, so a little different than immunity, a little more power than immunity regularly. So, do you think that's something you'll be needing tonight? Do you think you'll be able to pull it through, maybe use it? Do you think that's up in the air? What do you, what do you think of winning this different type of immunity? I mean, I think tonight is an important vote. Um, I think there's a bunch of ways it could go. So, I think tonight is definitely an important vote. It's kind of like you said. It's pretty up in the air just because it's like the first virtual. All right, Kira, you got second place in the challenge. So, you earned a secret advantage. No one knows what it is unless you tell them. So, um, this is also your first tribal council. You haven't been here all pre merge You won every yeah. challenge, and then the one challenge that I guess you could have lost, you're, you're, the tribe you ended up going to, you were exiled that week. So, no tribal for you. So, are you worried this week that this is your first tribal, that you're kind of sort of out of things? Or do you feel good, especially with the secret advantage? Do you think that makes you a target? How are you feeling this week? I mean, I think the secret advantage should make me a little bit of a target because obviously, just something else that could put something on me but being a tribal council I'm it's it's okay so far I mean we'll see how it goes um, I'm a little nervous just because I'm here for the first time but I think it's gonna work out all right so there are more red members red Mo OG Moynihan in the game than any other original tribe and they kind of made up most of the Kemba tribe besides Heidi was the the, the lone non-Kemba, non-Moynihan that came out of the Kemba tribe in the end. So Barrett, do you think that makes you guys a target? That red is still like the, the most um, kind of the majority tribe in the game. I mean, you guys have won basically every challenge. I mean, the only one you didn't win was the, the one Shane got voted out. So you guys have been pretty dominant challenges. Do you think that focuses people on you guys or do you think the game's a lot more open at this point? Uh, I mean, back uh, to what was said earlier, like, um, I feel like definitely at this point the game is much more individual. I feel like those first stage tribes are sort of, I don't know, in the past, I lot, lots of whispers around sort of tell me that those tribes aren't really worth much anymore. So you think this vote's going to be completely different, not what we've seen so far? I mean, yeah. Okay. So, Heidi. So, the last time Kemba went to Tribal Council, you, you were the only one that didn't vote with the rest of the Kemba tribe. So, do you think that means you won't be working with them going forward? Do you think things are completely different now that we've hit the merge? What do you, what do you think of all that? I mean, to a degree, I don't think once you get to the merge that you can afford to cross anyone off as a potential ally. Um, so, like, yeah, it sucks. Um, I don't intend to hold any ill will against anyone. Alright. Alex. Do you think tonight's going to be a really straightforward vote? Do you think it's going to be a lot of votes on one person? Or do you think sides are going to be drawn? No, I think tonight's sides are definitely going to be drawn. Has there been a lot of activity going on this week for our first merge vote? I mean, yeah, like, I came into this merge, half these people I've never even talked to before. So, I mean, some of them maybe wanted to see that as a chance to get rid of me, and others may. Carolina, what do you think these lines kind of are? Are they Kemba versus Tarasi? Are they certain original tribes versus other original tribes? Are they completely random? What, what do you think are some of like the, the sides that have been built up on this vote? Even though, like, you got out of those votes, obviously, do you think that still makes you uh, a target going forward? 
So we'll start with Robbie. I feel like once your name comes up, it's kind of hard to shake that for the next couple tribals just because people have brought you up as like a possibility, but I think the merge definitely changes things and allows you to work with people that you haven't really had the opportunity to before. So although I expect maybe to receive votes, I'm hoping that it doesn't end up with my uh, torch getting snuffed, metaphorically. Maddie, what do you think? Oh yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, I just say like, I guess you can be a threat in other ways, you know? know a lot about the game, you have a lot of connections, that would make you a threat too. Alright, Pijan, do you feel comfortable with whatever side, whatever people you're with tonight, or do you feel like there's a lot of ways this can go, you're feeling pretty nervous? Um, as long as I know I'm voting out who's going home, I'm fine. Do you, do you think you'll be on the right side of the numbers tonight? Feeling confident about that? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Hope, how are you feeling this week? Do you feel like it could be you going home, or do you feel like there's a lot of different factors, you're not one of the big targets here? I'm actually excited to see what happens tonight, just because of the and I want to see Alright, looks like we'll have to see, following the vote, who's telling the truth, and who's going to be set packing. Alright, anything else before we get to the vote? Alright, hope you're up first. All right, I'll go tally the votes. <laughs> All right, if anyone has a new idol or a regular idol and they want to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right. Okay, let me start here. So, obviously, Maddie's is an idol. You side. All votes for Maddie will not count. Probably be playing this song. This will be impressive. Alright, in the event that Hidden Muni Idol is played, all votes for that person will not count. This is a Hidden Muni Idol. All votes cast for Robbie will not count. I'll read the votes. First vote, Maddie does not count. Second vote, Maddie does not count. Third vote, Maddie does not count. That's three votes, Maddie, no votes counted. Fourth vote, Kira. One vote, Kira. Kira, it's two votes Kira. Third vote. Kira. Three votes Kira. Three votes Maddie that haven't counted. Four votes left. Six votes 
says the boat. Carolina. Go to Carolina. Eighth boat. Carolina. That's three boats to Kira, two boats to Carolina, two boats left. The seventh person boat has survivors are trying to ready to rumble. Kira. Sorry, that's enough for tonight. Sorry, Kira, but trying to swim. I see you over there. Bye. Oh. Looks like it was crazy merge vote night. A lot of people got votes. Two idols were played, but it doesn't look like either person needed to. Um, you guys have reached the jury, fa jury phase, so everyone from now on will be on the jury. We will have a final two and a jury assembled. Um, other than that, we'll head over to Laurel and we'll get to our next challenge. See you guys there. First and last. Alright, what do you think happened tonight? Um, I think people suck. Um, <laughs> I probably was talking to, to too many people. Um, I yeah, we should not have split the vote. That's what we should have just all voted for Carolina, like we originally planned. Um, but did you think about using your your tribal skip? I was, and then I totally forgot to bring it, so I wasn't even thinking about um, using it today. I'm pulling for either Robbie, um, Barrett. Uh, Maybe them. I haven't really talked to anyone, but yeah, hopefully they can pull through. Next time on Survivor Yukon. So, uh, Bijan is a snake. Alex was supposed to work with us to split votes. He's a bit of a snake himself. That, that was uh, definitely an unfortunate vote. I could see the looks on their faces kind of after Kira got voted out and I knew the whole dynamic of the game just shifted. So this really is a challenge about how bad you want it.